everyone, how are you? If you're new to my channel, then welcome. Today's video is going to be the return of my product empties videos. I used to do these a while back. I did like two or three and I'm pretty sure they're not on my channel anymore. It's been such a long time since I've done one of these and I have had this bag of empty products just sitting underneath my makeup vanity for the longest. If you guys want to see more of these videos, let me know in a comment down below so that I can continue to do these and save up my empty products. I'm gonna actually talk about each product that I used up and let you guys know whether I would repurchase it or not. So if you are excited for this video, then definitely keep watching. These are the Equate Beauty Sensitive Cleansing Facial Wipes. These are comparable to the Simple Cleansing Wipes that I love so much. I actually used up another one of these and I can't find it anywhere, so I just have two to show you. And I go through this at least every month because I use these for my face, I use it to remove swatches and everything like that, and I go through them like they're nothing. So I definitely will be repurchasing those because I live on these. This is the Murad Clarifying Toner. I have not used this in forever, but this is the only toner that really helps clear up my skin when I'm having a flare-up of acne. This really does the job for me. It's a little bit drying and it's very intense because it has alcohol in it, but it's supposed to eliminate oil and impurities to cool and refresh the skin and control surface shine and keeps pores clean and clear. So it really does all of that and it tightens your pores, which is why I love using it, but it can be a little bit harsh. I do want to repurchase this, but I think I'm gonna go for something more hydrating and freshening for my skin, something not too harsh with a whole lot of alcohol in it. So if you have any product recommendations for a toner, definitely leave it in a comment down below because I would love to know what I should try out next. Let's talk about an oldie but a goodie. This is the L'Oreal Revitalift. Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoother, which is oil-free. I used to see this a lot on YouTube. I have not used this in months. This has been in my product empties bag for months. <laughs> I finally used all of this up. The only thing I don't like about this is the fact that it's so expensive for a drugstore. This is like $25 for a drugstore primer that is pricey. So I definitely won't be repurchasing this just because I love my higher end primers better. Next is this Caress Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. I used to talk about this all the time and now I've been testing out some different skincare products, but I think I will always gravitate toward this. I already have another bottle of this. I did repurchase it because I love it so much. It's great for all skin types. It really cleanses your skin and moisturizes and does not strip your skin of anything natural. It's not going to be too harsh and it does clear up your skin as well. Yes, I will be repurchasing this and yes, I recommend this if you're looking for a really great gentle cleanser that's higher end. This works really, really well. But this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. I am on my second one and I'm almost out of that one as well. These things dry up really fast. I feel like you don't really get a whole lot of product in here, but I'm definitely gonna repurchase because this is one of my favorite foundations. This is in the shade W3, which is a little bit light for me for summer, but winter, it'll be perfect. I will be repurchasing it sometime, but probably not in the near future because I still have one behind me right there. I have two empty NYX HD concealer tubes in here because this was like my go-to concealer for the longest before I ventured out and tried different concealers. I always use these. And I'm still going to repurchase this because I really love using this for my eyelids. It is like a drier formula, so it's great for oily lids in my opinion. I think it works really, really well for that. And I mentioned this in my top five drugstore concealers for dark circles, which I will have linked down below or on the video right here. I love this. I will always repurchase this because it's very inexpensive. It's like $5, which is amazing. I have another concealer that I used up. This is the Superstay Better Skin Concealer from Maybelline. This was also mentioned in that top five drugstore concealer video, and I am obsessed. This is in the shade Light. I really, really love it. It's great for the under eyes, and it doesn't really crease that much either, so I definitely will be repurchasing that. I used up two NYX Marco Brow pencils. I use these all the time. They're like my favorite drugstore brow products. I definitely will be repurchasing. I already repurchased and am almost done with another pencil. They do go fairly quick. If you're using them every day, I feel like 
you'll go through them within a month. But they only cost $9.99. One end is the spoolie side, which this is very dirty. <laughs> and then the other end is the brow side, and it's very, very fine and easy to work with. And this is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Dark Brunette. I use this daily. I love using these pencils for on the go. I feel like they're very, very versatile. You can do like a very simple look, or you can make it nice and dramatic. This one also has a spoolie on one side, and then the little brow pencil on the other. We're down to my last two products. So the first one is this e.l.f. liquid liner. I use this all the time. This is like my holy grail liquid liner, which is saying something because this thing's only like $2. The actual brush part is not too long and not too flexible, so the stiffness kind of helps you wing out the liner. And I think if you are a beginner and just starting out with winged liner, this is the perfect beginner liner for you, I feel like. I feel like this is the easiest thing to learn how to draw winged liner. I have repurchased this and I will continue to repurchase this. This is always gonna be a staple in my collection. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This was a travel size version. I love this mascara. I do really love my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I'm always using that and that's only because I ran out of this. But I feel like the brushes are very similar. The Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara is a little bit thicker than the Marc Jacobs one, but essentially they have very similar wands. So I definitely am going to repurchase this because I'm obsessed and I think I want them both in my collection at all times. So those were all the products that I used up and would or would not repurchase. Let me know if you want me to continue doing these videos. I feel like these are fun to watch because you can see what people are actually using in their collection and what they're running out of or hitting pan on. So if you guys want to see it, definitely let me know and give it a big old thumbs up. I love you guys so much. Follow me on all my social medias which are linked at the end of the video and I will see you in my next video. Bye.